God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Hi everyone, it's Miss Nancy and I'm Nevi and I'm Murphy and we're here for the Sunday School lesson at home today. We're going to talk about a really neat story. Um, it's mainly revolved around a man called Nicodemus. Nicodemus is a Pharisee. He's a Jewish leader who had a hard time understanding what Jesus is all about, what his teaching is and what God's purpose is with Jesus and um, he just couldn't understand it but he knew that Jesus was someone special that he wanted to get to know so Nicodemus pays Jesus a visit in the middle of the night in secret so today we're gonna read a story it's all about John 3 16 and um, Jesus and Nicodemus in Jerusalem so we're going to read this book for everyone <laughs> and we'll talk a little bit more about the story at the end. An important leader of the Jews named Nicodemus secretly came one evening to speak to Jesus. Rabbi or teacher, we know it is a from God you have come because all of the amazing miracles you have done. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, amen and amen. To enter God's kingdom, a person must be born again. But how can someone like I am, who is now old and born, return one more time to his mother's body and be born? But once again, the Lord Jesus said, I tell you the truth, whether a person is an old man or still in his youth, though it may be quite hard for a man like you to hear it. You must be born, not just in a flesh, but also the spirit. Understand, flesh gives birth to flesh, and spirit to spirit. It is by faith you are saved, and will, and will heaven inherit. Being born from your dear mother is not nearly enough. For salvation by faith is not good works or other stuff. So before their meeting, when Nicodemus was quite done, Jesus said, God so loved the world that he sent his Son, that whosoever believes will never ever perish, but will have eternal life and salvation will cherish. <laughs> Little children to be saved and someday go to heaven whether your name is John or Jane or Mary or Kevin. Never trust in yourself, your works, or your good behavior, but trust Jesus as Lord, your only hope and your savior. So that story helped us to know what, who Nicodemus was about and what he was trying to do. What do you think about Nicodemus's actions? Do you think they were brave or cowardly? Brave. I think I think they were brave. Okay, because, why do you say they were brave, Murphy? Because it was against the law to go. Okay. Um, to Jesus. Okay. Why do you think it was brave, Nevi? I think it I I think it was um I I also think it was um brave because it was against the Jewish law. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why did Nicodemus want to meet with Jesus other than he's really cool and he heard all the cool things that Jesus did? Because he had a question about like being born again. What was his question? What, what was he so hung up on? So Nicodemus was old. He was a wise person because he was the leader of the Pharisees. He was one of the Jewish leader people. So he wasn't, it wasn't that he wasn't smart, but what didn't he understand what Jesus was teaching? He didn't understand that, um, he, he didn't understand he, how he, he could thought, be reborn again. Okay. He, he thought that 
it meant like being born in the flesh again, mm -hmm. but really it was being born in the spirit again. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what does that mean to be born in the spirit? What does that mean? What is Jesus teaching Nicodemus with that? Teaching him to trust God. Mm -hmm. What does he say? What did he say to him? Remember in the story it says God sent his only son. For whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's right. So that's being born again, right? That's what Jesus is teaching. So that's the story. Jesus is teaching a teacher about God's love for us. All right. And that's our story. I hope you enjoyed it. We um, are going to do our craft next and we'll see you all again really soon. But before then, let's close with a prayer. Lord God, we give you thanks for the love that you show us in sending your son, Jesus Christ, to be with us. Now send us back to our families to give them the love that you give us. Bless us now as we go in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 See you again soon. Bye. Bye. -bye. Okay, girls, are you guys ready to do the craft part of yes. Sunday school? Yes. We're going to do this, the star hanging. You ready? Here's your stars. What you'll do is just color it, and then you'll write the words on there. This, this one says, Emily, born from above. So if you remember the part of our stories, that can go with it. So go ahead and write your name and then say born from above and then color it however you want to and we'll decorate it.